Welcome to a little crew cut. We wanted to discuss genomic with you. I have two great examples of these genomic meteorites. Um, it means what exactly? We're going to dive into that and look at two examples uh, of this kind of rare type of meteorite. All right. The first example that we're looking at here shows a lot of brecciation, and that's part of what a genomic is. This is NWA 15376. It's a 50 gram slice. And I've kind of asked the crew to discuss what they know about genomics and these two meteorites in particular, if they can. Just an absolute gorgeous meteorite. The first thing I'm seeing are a bunch of angular class. I'm seeing different lithologies. And I'm seeing metal in there as well. Wow. Cool. There, maybe, maybe someone has some information about it. So th oh, let me give you the classification. I'm sorry. This is an LL3-6. So what that tells me is it is a breccia of materials in the that are LL3, LL4, LL5. And LL6 all embedded in this one rock. Does anyone want to correct me on that? No, that looks good. Uh, so uh, breccias are, uh, you know, generally a product of impact. Uh, many of our meteorites are not the same thing through and through. They've got different bits and pieces to them. And there's a, a really good paper in uh, this part of meteorites in the early solar system too, by uh, called Nature and Origins of Meteorite Breccias by Bischoff, Scott, Metzler, and Goodrich. And they give a definition for genomic breccias as clasts and matrix of the same compositional group, but of different metamorphic type or alteration history. Hmm. So it's the same type of meteorite, just not metamorphed uh, as other Metamorphosed parts. to different degrees, yes. When we talk about metamorphosis in meteorites, we're basically talking about accumulated time under heat and pressure. And the uh, chondritic meteorites become less distinct. The chondrules sort of blur. And eventually when we get all the way up to type seven, uh, the chondrules are completely obliterated by solid state recrystallization. There's actually no melting going on, but there's enough heat and pressure that the individual components of the uh, crystals in the chondrules can join up with like types, and the uh, chondral definition edges are blurred and then disappear. Awesome. So I have I have a question, and I'm not it's more of a question than a statement, but so NWA 869, which most people are familiar with, is an L4 to 6, but I noticed in the classification, it doesn't mention um, genomic in there. It, would that be considered a genomic or is it just not mentioned? Um, I, I think under this definition, yeah, that probably would, uh, represent being a genomic uh, breccia. You know, the, the classifications, especially early on, uh, you know, were not necessarily um, all exactly succinct. Th this meteorite actually has a lot of an NWA 869 sort of appearance to it. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's beautiful. This one. Yeah, that's kind of why I was asking the question. And it mentions yeah. it as a regolith breccia. So... Mm -hmm. right. That's where I was trying to clarify. Right. So, so a regolith breccia is very special in that it is a breccia of uh, pieces that were at some point on the surface of a planetesimal uh, or the moon. And uh, we know that those materials had been near the surface by looking at cosmic ray exposure effects. Uh, including little tiny holes punched into the rock that they etch, and then they can follow the the cosmic ray uh, exposure holes. 
Wow. This one here, uh, 11905, is very special in that uh, the least metamorphosed component of it is actually an LL 3.10, a very, very primitive wow, yeah. unmetamorphosed material. Nice. Very neat. So this one is actually a classification of uh, um, Matt Martin. And I got this from him in Tucson. This is a super, super example that I have enjoyed. And it goes back in my personal collection. Yeah, just to, this one, this one was, a, you know, purchased from a friend and a main mass holder. So wanted to support him on that, but I have it valued at $460 on that. But this is absolutely personal collection, not for sale. <laughs> it's a nice this, piece. Thank you. Yeah, I, I really enjoy it. Th this one right here is like striking as well. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So this one uh, will be made available, but it's just a really cool classification and a good chance to discuss. I call it a genomic. Is that how you guys are saying it or not? Genomic. Genomic. Yeah, that's correct. Genomic. Awesome. All right, well, hopefully now you guys know a little bit more about what a genomic meteorite is. Uh, glad you joined us. Talk to you later.